Hi there, this is Forces Lesson 13, and this is Stability. It's the second lesson in the Moments scheme. There's, there's three in total. So the objectives of stability are to explain what the centre of mass or gravity, their interchangeable terms, is, and how to find the centre of mass of a symmetrical object and asymmetrical objects. Right, so what is the centre of mass or gravity? So the centre of gravity of a body is the point at which the weight of the body appears to act. So the centre of gravity of a symmetrical body is along the axis of symmetry, and here's some examples. So centres of gravity of regular shapes. So as you can see, the dotted lines, the dashed lines, are the lines of symmetry, and the centre of gravity, or centre of mass, resides in the centre. That's if the body is symmetrical and uniform. By uniform, that means it has like a an average mass as... You know, as you move from one side to the other, so maybe like a beam of wood, you know, will be a you know constant mass as you move across it, or a tile, or a table, or anything like that. Um, so for a circle, that you know, it's straight in the centre, the triangle, if you can probably guess where that is, also in the centre on the the lines of symmetry. Remember, if you want to pause at any point to make any notes, please do. And as I've said before, the, the centre of gravity is also called the centre of mass. Interesting point then, if suspended, a body will come to rest with its centre of gravity or centre of mass directly below the point of suspension. So if you hang this basket, it will come to rest with its centre of gravity directly below the, the point of suspension. So, for example, I don't know if you had a, if you had a school book and you picked it up in the top corner, the school book would actually, you know, and you dangled it down, it would actually come to rest, you know, in the centre. So, uh, as you if you put, drew a line from where where you pinched it and went down, the the line would go through the centre of mass, which would be in the middle of the book. So, if you get something like this. So you could get something like this in your exam and it would say, explain what happens regarding its stability. And there's normally three little three points that you want to make. And I'm going to share these with you. So on this one, as you can see, the and this is how you would word it, the line of action of the weight from the centre of mass, you could say centre of gravity, falls through the base, the base being, being this. So that centre of mass is, you know, the line of action of the weight falls through the base. So there's no resultant turn and effect on this body. And the object is balanced, it would fall back down and, and be stable. Then there's a second scenario. Remember to pause if you want to make any notes. There's a second scenario. Like this. So very similar to last time, basically the same, just a little bit different wording. As you can imagine, this is obviously going to topple over or fall over. And this is how you'd word it, you'd say, the line of action of the weight from the centre of mass falls outside the base. Remember, this is the base. And the line of action of the weight from the centre of mass will fall outside the base. Therefore, there is a resultant clockwise turning effect. As you can see, this will topple in this direction. So clockwise. And the object is not balanced and it will topple over. So that could be worth, you know, three, four marks as an explanation. So make sure you've got both of those down. Rewind if you need to. And they lend themselves to just about any scenario. We'll do an exam question at the end and, and you'll see that you know one of the answers uh, fits perfectly. So stable. Balanced. You know, that one would theoretically stay on the point. Might be a bit tricky in real life. And this one where the center of the line of action of the weight from the center of mass or center of gravity falls outside the base, you know, would topple. You'd get a clockwise turning effect and it'd fall over. So a body is stable as long as its center of gravity or mass remains vertically above its base. And if this is not the case, the body will indeed topple over. Right, so what do you think about this one? 
So what two things regarding you know the base and the center of mass, etc., make a modern racing car as stable as possible? If you want to have to think about that. It normally comes up as a two mark question, something like this. Okay, I'm gonna go for the answers. It's really simple, straightforward. So wide wheel base, so as wide as possible, and a low center of gravity or low center of mass, which means the average location of the mass of the vehicle is, is close to the ground to keep it as stable as possible. So let's have a look at an exam style question. So if you're gonna pause and have a go at this one, then I'll take you through the answer. So the diagram shows a back view of a computer monitor. So you've got a screen, base, hinges. In normal use, the monitor is stable. Explain the meaning in the above sentence of the word stable. So we could quite easily say the, the line of action of the weight, the line of action. Excuse my handwriting. Line of action of the weight. Falls inside the base. You could say no, uh, no result and turn effect. It's only a two mark question though. So the line of action of the weight falls inside the base. And then I just say object is stable. If it was a three mark question, I would say, you know, about the result and turn effect being zero. State the relationship between the total clockwise moment and the total anti-clockwise moment about any axis, uh, any axis of the monitor when it's stable. So this is basically the third mark. It's just asking it in, in separate things. So the relationship between the total clockwise and total anti-clockwise would be that the, the total clockwise, I'll just write CW, moments, will be equal to the total, you probably guess this as I'm saying it, the total anti-clockwise moments. Just right there for stable. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's move on then. So if you want to have a go at this one, you want to pause, and then I'll take you through the answers. So this one says the instruction booklet explains that the screen can be tilted. It also includes a warning. The monitor can tip over if the screen is tilted too far back. Explain why the monitor will tip over if the screen is tilted too far back. Include the words center of mass, weight, and moment in your explanation. So as you can see on this one, you know, the center of mass might be might be in this location. Could be a bit more. But if you in fact now it will be a bit more over. Ignore that. Let's say the center of mass is is in this location, center of the screen. In fact, I'll do a neat one. From the center of mass. Something like this. So as you can see, it's clearly, you know, the weight is clearly outside the, the base. So we're going to include these keywords. So we're basically going to go with the explanation that we did previously. So the line of action, the line of action of the weight, I'll just write the wheel from the center of mass, I'm just gonna write com center of mass, falls outside the base, outside the base, full stop. You get resultant, it's going to be a clockwise CW, turning effect, you could say moment, turning effect, we just need to say what the object will do. Object. Could say will coincidentally topple. We'll I'll just say topple. And that's it. Three marks. So the line of action of the weight from the center of mass, so we've used that first word, falls outside the base. Oh, and we've used line of action of the weight, so we've used both of those. Um, Result on clockwise turning effect. I should say, instead of effect, really should say moment. The mark scheme might have those words interchangeable, but let's just be careful. So result in clockwise turning moment, so we'll get one, and object will topple. And that should do. So as you can see, the answer to this question is the same as the explanation that was given earlier, the exact same. And you can apply that to 
to any type of question, no matter how they dress it up. So I hope that's helped. And you're okay with stability now. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.